Today we're making Almond Joy cookies. These cookies are adapted from my all-time favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe to include coconut, almond, and of course chocolate chips. Let's get baking. We'll start by mixing the dry ingredients. I already have three and a half cups of flour measured out into a bowl. We're going to add to that a tablespoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt. As always, measurements and full recipe are in the description below. We're gonna give that a stir to make sure our salt and our leavener are mixed all the way in, and then we will set that aside while we get the butter and sugar and all mixed together. All right. So to this bowl, we will add a cup of granulated sugar, which comes in at 200 grams. Just, whoops, a little bit more. and a cup of dark brown sugar. It'd be packed dark brown sugar by volume or about 215 grams of, um, of sugar by weight. So in that goes, get our scale out of the way. And to this, we're going to add a stick of butter and a stick of margarine. The margarine is key for the texture of the cookies to be crispy and light, uh, but, but not too tough. Uh, however, you can absolutely go with all, um, all butter or do a little bit of vegetable shortening instead of, um, of some of that margarine and then butter for some of the rest. All right, we are going to cream those together until everything is thoroughly incorporated and light and fluffy. Our butter, margarine, and sugars have creamed together, and you can see they're a little bit lighter and fluffier than when they started. That usually takes about uh, three minutes on medium with one or two stops to scrape down um, the bowl and the dasher or the beater. All right, now we're going to add one egg. At room temperature is nice, but if it's uh, if you, you didn't think of it too far ahead of time, don't worry about it, not a deal breaker. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of almond extract. If you really like the flavor of almond to be pronounced, you can go with a full teaspoon, up to you. And we are going to mix that in just until it's thoroughly incorporated. Now it's time to start adding our dry ingredients. Uh, remember our flour that we stirred together a couple moments ago? We're going to add that alternately with one more type of fat, actually two here. Normally this recipe would use uh, just regular vegetable oil or canola oil, a half a cup. Uh, since there's a coconut thing going on here, I went ahead and uh, grabbed some coconut oil, also just because I had to use it up. That's not gonna add a whole lot of coconut flavor. It's not a big deal. Use vegetable oil, coconut oil, even light olive oil if you'd like. And we're going to add these alternately. 
So we'll start with some of our dry mix and then our flour, and we're just gonna mix each one until we kind of can't see the streaks of flour or um, in this case, coconut oil anymore. Once all of your flour mixture and oil are thoroughly incorporated into your dough, you get to mix in the fun stuff. So for these cookies, we are using one and a quarter cup uh, shredded dried coconut. This is the unsweetened variety. You can absolutely use the sweetened coconut. Just dial the, the granulated sugar back by maybe um, two or three tablespoons in your, um, in your initial uh, butter sugar mixture. All right, so we're gonna pour that in. And along with that, we're going to add some chocolate chips. Usually I use all bittersweet chocolate chips, but since these are Almond Joy cookies, I've got about half bittersweet and half milk chocolate chips, and we're gonna put those in as well. Most chocolate chip recipes call for, chocolate chip cookie recipes call for 12 ounces of chocolate chips. I find that 10 ounces is usually plenty, possibly an unpopular opinion. Go with your heart on that one. So in those go. I'm gonna give that a mix. Doesn't have to be super thorough because we've got one more thing to mix in here. And those are some slivered almonds. I have a cup of toasted slivered almonds. Not toasted is fine too. Um, other kinds of you know, crushed almonds, sliced almonds, uh, whatever works um, for you works for these cookies. And if you don't like the almonds, well gosh, just skip them. Maybe a little bit more coconut um, would do. All right, so I'm gonna put these in and give it a little bit more of a stir. They're a little more delicate. I don't wanna totally crush them. Uh, so this will be a gentle stir and then our cookie dough will be ready. You can always finish this off with a spatula or a wooden spoon or what have you. And of course you don't need a stand mixer to do this and hand mixer is fine. Even that, just that wooden spoon and a bowl and a little bit of elbow grease will do the trick, no problem. All right, so now that my cookie dough is complete, I can go ahead and bake these right now, or, and here's a good look at it, or we can chill that down for um, at least 24 hours. 36, I find, makes um, just that little bit more of a difference. 36 hours in the fridge, you can keep it a little bit longer, or you can scoop it into uh, individual cookies and slide those in the freezer. And then once those are frozen hard, just put them in some um, freezer bags or freezer safe container and keep them to have cookies whenever you want. And that's actually what I did with my previous batch. Chilled it in the fridge, scooped it, froze it. And now these guys are ready for the oven. These are table size scoops and they're going to go into a 350 degree oven for uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Check them, definitely check them at 10, especially if you include the coconut oil, they do tend to burn a little bit more on the underside. Um, so in they go, and we will see them when they come out. And our cookies are fresh from the oven. They took just 10 and a half minutes or so. We can see that they are nice and golden brown around the edges. They're still quite soft whew, in the centers. In fact, if you touch them just a little bit, they'll kind of uh, sigh and sink a little bit. 
Don't worry about the softness though because these guys are gonna set up as they cool on the cooling rack and trust me, they will be delicious. Hope you give these a try and check back every Friday at four o'clock for a new video.